Hello everyone. I have another new project that I'm excited about. You say, what in the world is this car? I know, look at them tail fins, right? Cool tail lights. Who knows? I know, you read the title. This is a 19. 57 Packard. They officially called it a country sedan. That was the name for their station wagon. Quite the rare car. They made, oh, if I go from memory, like 968 or so of these. It was, it was less than a, a thousand. Uh, Cool fender eyebrows over the headlights. Cool hood ornament. Packard. Now, this is 57. 1958 was the last year for Packard's. This car has been sitting, my best guess is probably since the late 60s to early 70s, just going by the, the tires that were on it when I got it. I mean, the amount of, of age and debris that's in there. Just looking at the car. It has been off the road for a long, long, long time. It had the, the dual pinstripe tires on it, which were only available for a few years in the 60s. These are just roller tires I put on just to, to get it moved into my shop. But look at the stainless down the side. Super, super solid body. That makes me happy. Hard to find good solid cars around here. You can see it had dual antennas whipping off the back. That's awesome. I love the tailgate area. You basically have a bench where you can sit down. Sit on the shelf back here. Now the tailgate is the two-piece tailgate. This lid tilts up, the bottom tilts down. What I find interesting here is they did not continue that piece of stainless all across the center. They just, they left a gap in the middle. Must have been hard, been hard times over at Packard trying to save a couple pennies on some stainless below where the, uh, the license plate goes, but. You know, Packard was uh, a high-end luxury car, you know, right from the beginning. But here, it was kind of their, their last effort to keep things going. They had merged with Studebaker. And this is mostly Studebaker body on this car. You know, these cool tail lights, they're, they're Packard exclusive. They use them from, I believe, 56 through 58. So, but those are, those are popular with the hot rodders for customs. This one, I got a, a broken casting here. So I'm gonna need, gonna need to get a new, new tail light housing on that side. The lenses you can buy reproduction. I do have this this little shield that goes over the top here. So it's got the roof rack. Very cool. 
who doesn't love a roof rack on a station wagon and oh boy what have we got here it's basically a raccoon motel for a couple decades so nothing really left of the interior you know you got your seat frames everything up was everything else was chewed up and animals turn them into nests I do not have a key to the glove box that is locked so I'm going to have to get that open and be interesting to see what's in there if you can see on the grill there it says clipper got the clock got the push button radio how many miles 46,000 miles and I'm tempted to believe that that is original. Um, the steering wheel is real decent condition. It's not falling apart. A couple little cracks. <laughs> the ship wheel. And I folded these seats down in the back. Gives a nice big cargo area. I've opened up the, uh, the hatch in the back underneath the rear floor. That's where your spare tire goes. The spare tire well is super solid. No rust at all. I was hoping to find a spare wheel in there, but I didn't. What I did find was all four original hubcaps, so that makes me happy. So that's, that's a cool car. Definitely not, not one you're gonna see all the time. Uh, I don't know how many have survived, but this is a nice solid example. If you see, bottoms of the fenders, the rocker panels, they're all real solid. The floor is solid. The frame is good. It's going to be a nice car to fix up. Got your, your fresh air vents in the fenders. They pop open. Now this has a but I, I believe it's a 289 Packard engine. And these were supercharged right from the factory, which is pretty cool. All the trim is in really nice condition. Again, the fenders and rockers are really solid. At the back on the passenger side, there's it's a little bit of rust at the bottom of the quarter panel. That's pretty much the extent of the rust on this whole, whole car. Uh, this is all original paint. It's factory two-tone gold and white, which seems to be about the most common colors for these cars. I need to find the turn signal lenses. Might be a little bit hard to find, but I'll see if I can locate them. Um, when I got the car, I traveled and picked this up myself in the back seat. I found the supercharger was laying in the back seat in pieces. And if I just had to guess, uh, that could be the reason why the car was parked in the first place. You know, the supercharger went out and may not have known 
where to get that rebuilt or where to find another one in the you know back in the day this thing's a mess though seriously look at the animals what they did Definitely a critter habitat for a long time. There's the door panel. Got the same ribbed stainless on the inside as they do on the outside. It's kind of a neat feature. So the car is pretty much complete not sure if I can lift the, the hood with one hand Coon turds everywhere. And then whatever that is, rat turds. So there's there's the uh, the cover that goes over the carburetor. The supercharger attaches to that. The supercharger attaches to them bolts right there. And more turds. Oh my goodness, you ever seen an engine so full of crap, literally? Literally full of crap. There's the dipstick tube. I don't know where the dipstick is, but it's full of crap. So, yeah, I definitely have a lot of cleaning up to do in here. Yeah, put my hazmat suit on. Get this cleaned up. Oh my goodness. That's a heavy hood. Okay. So, fun times are ahead. Right now, it's just gonna get put into storage until I have the time to work on it. But, cool. Cool. Ah yes, cool. So, Hope you enjoy this Packard wagon. Hopefully we see more of it in the future. See if we can get the engine to turn. See if we can get it to run. I want to drive this again. Not me. It'll be the first time for me driving it, but I want this on the road again. I want to drive this bring it to shows and just go cruising so thanks for watching have yourself a great day